Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at another ink. Today it's a very special ink. Um, this is from a, I wouldn't call them a company, uh, a group called Pay It Forward. They're at a lot of your pen shows and things like that, and they give away pens, ink, paper to people who either can't afford them or people who are new to the hobby and wanting to get started. So most of the time they'll have a table, so if you're at a pen show, definitely go check them out. They ran a Kickstarter a while back, and this is one of the reward options, so I bought two bottles just to help support a little bit, and it was a pretty color, so that's a nice bonus. We'll go ahead and go over that. Um, a few things I want to touch on real quick. One, today is February 14th, so happy Valentine's Day if you celebrate that. If not, then that's cool too. Also, I haven't been uploading lately because I've been very sick. Um, I'm still a little congested. You may hear some of that. I apologize if so. But to make up for it over the next three days, at least, I'm going to be uploading a new video every day. One of them is being today. So let's go ahead and take a look at this ink. And before we do that, we'll take a look at the bottle. Super simple bottle. Completely glass um, with a little metal cap. No markings or anything really apart from that 017 and some little strange marking that I can't really decipher on the bottom. Very simple label on here. It just says pay it forward, heart of gold, papier plume, New Orleans, or New Orleans. And it has a little pay it forward symbol. This is kind of their logo. So it's a person handing someone a pen, handing somebody a bottle of ink, handing someone a pencil. thought that was really, really neat. Pretty wide neck here as well. I don't have any issues filling any of my pens width-wise. As you get the bottle down, you may have some issue feeling, uh, filling the pen due to the depth. Because um, number six size nib is going to come up pretty high in this anyway, and it is only 30 mils of ink, but it's a pretty nice bottle. Um, yeah, they could have made it a little taller, a little more narrow, but it's not too bad. It's it's not super flat. It's not like a JR Bond ink or anything like that. It's pretty manageable. With smaller pins, you could definitely even do a little bit of a tilt to get that that last little bit of ink out. But yeah, pretty plain bottle. Pretty uh, straightforward uh, execution there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the color itself. Here it is. This is Papier Plume, Heart of Gold. It's the first thing it makes me think of color-wise is like a coral shade. It's kind of that pinkish, reddish orange, which is not bad at all. Um, there's definitely some shading, as you can see there. It's more on the back of that pretty evident shading. So you have some pretty light patches, some pretty dark patches. The color is going to vary just a bit. And let's go ahead and compare it to some other um, colors that I have here. Here it is next to Diamine Pumpkin, which is a, a very orange orange. So you can see this isn't just a straightforward orange color. It definitely has some of that red in there, some of that pink. It's a bit more toned down from the Diamine Pumpkin. And it's it's a flashy ink, but it's not too over the top. Diamond Pumpkin is very punchy, very loud. This is a bit more subdued. Here it is next to Diamine Wild Strawberry which is a very straightforward red. It's a lot closer to Wild Strawberry, honestly, but it, again, a little bit more of that orange in there. And Diamond Strawberry is a very, very, like, red red. It's very straightforward red, very plain red. You can notice a bit more uh, difference in the actual writing samples than you will the um, ink swatches down here. And last but not least, a reddish pink Pilot Hiroshizuku Momiji. You can see a lot of the similarities in the, sim in the um, center of the Momiji. Or it gets a bit darker and um, kind of this area here as well so it's it's a pretty solid blend of orange and red I think with a little bit of pink mixed in let's go ahead and take a look at a quick writing sample all right here we have a Rhodia dot pad and I have a Lamy 2000 with a medium nib inked up with this ink here which again is Papier Plume Heart of Gold They actually had um, some pretty nice rewards on the Kickstarter. I would have loved to pick up the pen that they had there, but it sold out before I even caught wind of this campaign, or I, I would have grabbed it. Those should be coming out in the next few weeks, according to the updates on the um, Instagram page for the Pay It Forward group, which you should really very, very seriously check out. It's a very, very good group, um, very nice people. Really, really cool what they're doing there. 
So again, you can see it's it's that pinky, orange, red kind of color. I will say this ink is not super duper wet. It's not Pelican um, Edelstein dry, but it's it's a bit of a drier ink. I've never tried any Papier Plumes inks. So I don't know if that's consistent across their line. Um, I do have two bottles of this, but I've only tried one of them. So we'll see. But this particular ink here is, is a little bit on the drier side. Not necessarily in a bad way. Um, with this Lamy 2000, it's still plenty wet for me to write with. And we'll go ahead and do a dry test. At one. Go ahead and do three. And five. Seven. And ten. So it's still not dry by ten, and part of that's definitely going to be this rhodia paper. Ink itself, though, is very, very nice. If you are able to pick up a bottle and you're interested in this color, I highly recommend it. Or maybe you can get someone to send you a sample or something like that if you know someone that participated in the, um, the Kickstarter campaign. But that'll be it for today, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And remember, keep your eyes out for a video tomorrow where the ink bottle doesn't fall off the page. And hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.